So what we're going to do now is as part of a quality control for underwater fiber optic cable, we're going to splice a patch cord at the end of it so that we can test the uh, quality of the signal going through the bulkhead. So I'm just going to cut this one in half. Interesting. We strip the other sheath. You're going to need a bit more than that. Let's so just cut it in small sections. And then cut the Kevlar off. Next, we strip the padding. Uh, sorry, sorry. Next, we're going to put this protection sleeve. And then we're going to cut the cladding. This one is glued onto the buffer, so best to do smaller. Smaller sections. Then we're going to remove the buffer with the smallest opening. Then we go for the cut. Now the length of the cut is not really relevant for fusion splicing. Just make sure that the fiber touches both pads. Like that, push the blade back. Let the motors adjust. The fusion splicer is going to tell you if your cut is good. Now this one is a bit particular because the uh, the buffer and the cladding they're not glued together so even if I strip a longer portion it's really easy to come off now the problem is that um, you get to make sure that the clamp of the fusion splicer does not touch the uh, the cladding or else one is going to try to uh, fuse the um, fi fiber optic it's not going to work It's best to support it a little bit during this operation. Let's see what the fusion splicer says. And if it's good, it goes in splice automatically. Now 0 0.01 dB loss is very acceptable. So this is an example of a problem with the fiber. So the, the uh, fusion splicer 
basically tells you which fiber needs to be redone. In this case, it's the one on the right. Just open the door at this point. You see the lights over here indicates that uh, the oven is heating. You have to wait till they're closed before you can transfer the fiber. Now this here is the delicate side where you gotta slide the protection sleeve without breaking the joint. Then you put it in the oven all the way to the bottom and you close you can change the uh, the burn time of the oven in the application and this is the result.